taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the Hey, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds! And we got a guest today, Mr. Ricky G is in the my house. last name. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just joking. The glass man ass we got man. The, we got the phenomenal. The phenomenal. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. The uh does anybody call you the ass man? Like Seinfeld style? Not not they never no one's ever called me that a second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's got a cough. It looks like it's working. <laughs> uh, we're happy to have you here. We're battling childhood versus adulthood today. Are we all? Yes. yes. <laughs> and you've chosen to be, I like when guests choose to be the moderator kind of in the middle of the argument. Yeah. Uh, but but we'll get to that Maybe in a, a minute. Maybe a teen. You're like a teen. Wow. Right? You're a child and adult at the same exact time right now. Yeah. Maybe T should argue teen. Yeah. You know, I just... It's fun if we put the poll out like that, right? Hey. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Okay. I think it's just important that we recognize that all of us are still children, even the adults, and I feel like they're not mutually exclusive, and there's arguments for either side, and as a fan, I'm just looking forward to hearing, and, and I'm grateful that I get an opportunity to have a little bit of a say in it, but why don't you guys get started? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> what... Uh what brings you, you to want to town? jump right into it, babe, or you just want to kind of... I was just going to ask Rick yeah, why yeah. he's in Let's town. Let's not jump, yeah. Yeah, what brings you to town? Um, I, uh, I came in from Los Angeles to visit my girlfriend. Are your arms tired? Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, well, he, didn't, he didn't say flew in. He said, I just came in. We, we get it. That doesn't Is work. Is your penis tired? It doesn't, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, edit that out. No. <laughs> that's my personal life <laughs> is it though i just yeah. came I've into new york all over the internet yeah but I've not with it. my girl uh, well no no but we were, he was saying you used your d to get here from Los no Angeles. he was making a he was making a joke because i was with my girlfriend no having he was sex saying, why don't you tell me with a joke am i reading it right you no. prostituted yourself across this country you just flew, for, you just for came gas in, money to came get into here. new york and where do you come from los angeles right but where do you come from where do you ejaculate from Oh, I don't like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Well, you ejaculate from your penis. You know this. You ejaculate out of your penis. You ejaculate right. from your prostate and balls. Okay, fair. Oh, wow. So you said... It's a good... Yeah, I, I came just, out of... I just... You didn't say you just flew in and... but the, 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 so, 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 so the... So it just came from. It's Right, right. Yeah, yeah and my arms yeah. are tired. I just came in. No, I worked no. out this morning. No, it's penis. 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 No, I did you buys came and tries in. You just this came morning. in from somewhere. Your so you came in tired. something. You came in. And that's what I'm saying is my personal life. Right. No, it's not, though. And what do I, you think I came in? Uh, 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 a manila envelope? No. No, no, you said uh, you uh, came... A thing of Bic pens? You said you came from. No, I came in. I just came into New York. Yes. And that's oh, why... Oh, you said you came, you came And came boy, is your penis tight. New York is what you came into. Now, I... Oh! Yes, yes. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I know, I know, I know, absolutely. And I'm but, saying I have seen your penis. Yes, and I'm saying I think people thought you were joking, and now, get it, fine, put it out there. Where can people see this it? This is not... Uh, fap fappening. The fappening. <laughs> is that a thing? You were know. all over the fappening. I don't know happened. what that reference is. It was is. you, Jennifer Lawrence. It was one of those celebrity nudes leaks. I remember. It was called the fappening. Yeah. And that, and then there was something about some that on Jennifer Lawrence on her back. Well, I, do, I don't want to talk about my personal life. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, snap. Oh, that's... Oh, Rick Glass's penis in a picture of Pete Holmes and Big J come up for some reason. <laughs> that's very weird. Uh, Bobby Lee, there's Bobby Lee, there's Bobby Lee's podcast. At this point, I don't think. What it's is this? You search you, Rick Lesnar's penis? Yeah, these are the pictures that come up. Do you guys normally do this with guests? This is. I'm a professional yeah. dramatic actor. Yeah, no, so we usually Bing Chandler. Yes, we argued Chandler. Uh, we argued Friends versus Seinfeld on here. Could that have been a better episode? <laughs> <laughs> so Chandler, I love it. Uh, what Thank was you. the deal with that episode? Uh, oh. I found one, but not by You guys a ton. are such good friends. <laughs> oh, gosh, jeez. That's great. I wish I had one. I got nothing. Uh, well, why don't you pivot onto something different? Pivot? Like your, like your penis. Did you mean that? <laughs> did I'll you pivot on okay. it, buddy? You did. Okay. Uh, you think I do things without intention? He Wait, he's, was, a, he's an idiot. Hmm? What was pivot? Pivot was from friends. Oh, well. Uh, when they're going up the, uh, the stair moving a couch. Yeah. I got to tell you something. Oh, yeah, I remember that episode. That's a funny one. You guys probably did a Friends versus Seinfeld, right? Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Who I took see. Seinfeld? I did. Yeah, so you. 
you lost, right? I took Friends because I had just started watching Friends. You don't even know the pivot. You took Friends. I know that episode now. I just here's um, well, I was about to explain. He was on. A, he was on a That's Friends okay. kick. I was on a Friends kick. I just started watching it this year. I it's never watched it. it over Seinfeld. And I was really loving it. Right. And I was like, I'll defend Friends. It's a good cause, show. Because that is the fair rival for Seinfeld. And uh, and I, I was like, I'll defend it. And I got to tell you, right after that, I hit about mid-season three. And boy, do I hate All right, that I'm show. tired. Yeah. Boy, I it is hate, your penis. Yeah. I hate it after. Like, it hits like a midpoint in season three. And I was like... God, all this is now is like this back and forth whining about like their relationships. It's not fun anymore. It was so much more fun when they oh, were I all disagree. single. I thought it was a kid a shine around three. Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought maybe toward the end. But you, like, I don't think you could do Friends or Seinfeld because people, there's no way you're going to turn anybody. Those Friends people and the Seinfeld people. I feel right. like you could do a Seinfeld yeah. versus Curb. We, 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 we wanted to. We thought about that. We wouldn't that, do it. But no. I thought it was. I thought it, the arguments were too similar. I thought the programs were too similar, mm. and so I was like, I would like to to have a little more diversity in the argument. Well, it's funny because it's all a bunch of white people. I know. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. At least, at least, Curb has you know the the, the black family. I know. Well, I no, I mean, uh, George did uh, watch Breakfast at Tiffany's with a black family. That is true. It's an episode, not. Uh, well, character. they came back in another episode. They do, and boy, is this tired. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like around season, maybe it's four, maybe it's season four. I don't know, but somewhere in there, when they started going hard get, on like uh, a list celebrity guests constantly, that yeah. that is not that far in, and like, and then it just gets like when Phoebe starts like looking for her brother and her family, and like Giovanni Ribisi, yeah, and it just starts, it just starts to become about like what's going on with with ross and rachel and like like yeah that's, I, I don't know it's just like that I, is the, I, it's that's a big a, one it's a nucleus you know a lot of people have some problems that bruce ross's willis wedding was in is it, when i go i'm done and um what happened the, when bruce willis the actor was in it and their uh chandler and joey's favorite movie is die hard was established before then and they were never able to reference it ah. you know at least in at least in last action hero when they go into blockbuster Sylvester Stallone is Terminator. Right. You know, they, they make a... They, is, that, they, is that real? Yeah. They allow... Uh, is that true? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. That's no, the They joke. put Arnold... Uh, he's no, there. Because Arnold no, Schwarzenegger... The joke is they go into they, a, they made that joke? Yeah. When, when they're in the movie world, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the actor, but he isn't the actor or the character in that. It's a different person. So in the world where these movies exist, Terminator 2 couldn't be played by... So, Understood, but they went that far. Yeah, so to there's put a poster of, of uh, Stallone? a cardboard cutout of Stallone that's in the leather jacket. very funny. When the kids in the movie... In the Drop reality like of the movie, where Schwarzenegger, I fully have understood from the beginning. Do, uh, do you though? Yeah, I'm just saying. Wow, I can't believe they actually went yeah, there and made the joke. joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a great. In joke. Last That's Action Hero, was a great movie. Yeah, you know what I watched what again, and it didn't hold up. The Running Man. Oh, I love The Running Man. You're nuts. Have you watched it recently? <laughs> yes. Have You're you nuts, danced so. at any time in the past five years? What's that? No. Yeah. Well, That's that the fell thing. out of favor. The no, Running people Man. People still do it. Nobody does. Oh, sure they do. Nobody Go, does the running TikTok man. TikTok running man. That's not true. Nobody does it. People do the running man. Well, TikTok does have 70 billion people on it, so we might find it. Uh, were you about to disagree with me, though, that friends, you like that period of friends? I was never, what is it called, a friend's head? Yeah. I was never a friend's head, but like I still understand and respect it. And no, I've seen I a lot of episodes. It. I just do, do, you, do you pilot I, the friendship? Um, I've been on it. Yeah. I never drove it. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't pay to you lease can it. See, you can but see. But I've it. seen many, many seasons. I've seen most of the episodes, and it's just a great show throughout. It's. It, you, I disagree. But I know. You can see. You can see. But that's what I'm here to do. It's kind of his thing. You can see the he moment, even like the Monica, the, the, the Rachel Ross. <laughs> when when uh, when when um, there's a thing. I don't like when Rachel stops being a screw up and gets like a real job and like becomes responsible. I just don't think it's interesting. But. Uh, Rob McElhenney said when he got fat for that season of It's Always Sunny, he said the reason he did that was because he goes, you watch these popular sitcoms and sure. they just get better looking. Better looking. Friends is the prime example. You can see the episode from one to the next in season four rich. where they become rich. And they're <laughs> like, you're like, it's just not the same anymore. Yeah. I'm watching rich people pretend to be struggling in New York now. Seinfeld got a tit job. Mm. Who? Seinfeld. Jerry? Yeah, yeah, he made a movie out of it. B movie. 
Oh, B cup it, movie. Yeah. You should have said. You should have uh, said B cup said movie. B-cup. Oh, I like that you didn't say cup because Stanley Kubrick says it's more interesting if the audience gets to make the discovery instead of showing it to them. And, and, and when what, you said B, I was thinking, I was thinking B yes. cup. You already did. You made yeah. the connection. Yeah. Yeah. He never it, said that, by the way. Yes, he did. Kubrick. Oh, you want to argue you that? Guys highly proven that he <laughs> you guys. It's Kubrick. Quote. It's no. Kubrick. If you've seen Brian yeah. Atine's audition tape, which we watched on on Hey Baby, and it it kind of fell flat. It's been it's been proven over and over that that's a misquote. Uh, I believe that. Uh, I, I still I I that made mi- that I made that assumption uh, I made beforehand. That, I made but up what I, just I don't said. know why it wouldn't be really him. I just made up that. I just was doing it. I was trying to do the thing you do. You guys you are like outdoing do it to each other. He's going to do it back to you. You never no, know. No, I was just saying it's yeah. possible, but I don't I don't yeah. subscribe to that. Was well, it Miss Nomer? What is it, Miss Nomer? Mr. Else? Nomer's wife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> little people no, with the hats. That's Mrs. Nomer. No, they got divorced. Oh, okay. That was okay. very quick. And she kept his name. Well, their name. That was very quick. Uh, pronouns. What you just yeah. did. That's one of my things. I've grabbed chocolate out of his hand. He didn't even see it coming. Yeah, for I'll real. You, we'll cut to a clip. I'll send it to you. <laughs> 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 no, you're li- he's lightning fast, really. On the no, courts I'm, and off. I know. No, no, no. He's, he's very quick, and you did it a lot when I was Each other sentences. <laughs> <laughs> you did it a lot when I was on your podcast, and it was. I mean, oh, I you went on you. shoes off. Yeah. He came on before oh, you. He, that oh, same fun. trip. I would love he to watch that. He came on a few days after you, oh, okay. or before you. Fun, fun. Oh, the, yeah. the sleepover series. Yeah, it was fun. Did you have Okerson on? Is that why he came on? I have had him on. Okay, that's why he came out of on. his penis. Ah, uh, d. Forgot C. It's running down my pants. I could already see the comments. I'm talking too much. I'm getting excited playing with friends. Do your thing. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not this. That's not what's happening here. Where were they rolling? Whatever what happens, happens. That you know that that's not true. You know that these these but, fans don't really care if for you, guests. If you, if, <laughs> but let me tell you something. If you say it and you get them in the mentality that no, no one's going to complain. You're you're funny. We're having a great convo. I'm no, having I a great Rick. time. But I also we're being like, like children, and that's fun. So I make myself at home in a way that I'm I, I love and I love when it's done and I love receiving it. Yeah. But it could be threatening to people coming in. Who is this guy yeah. coming in? They're supposed to talk about adults and kids and now they're talking about Die Hard. Yeah. Okay. And the running man. That's true. Yeah. And uh, this is what happens. So we go all over and then we kind of will focus up again soon. Well, I wanted to acknowledge it and I want to say thank you for having me. And Thanks this is for great. being here. The running man might be a good like think of all the Macarena, the this the, the running man, the cabbage patch. That could be a good battle. Babe, there's, there's that could only be a good one, lightning battle. There's only one dance battle. Moonwalk? No, no, no. No. Well, I no. mean, if there was one, it's Moonwalk, so there's two. You, you, right. You, there's only one major dance battle, and it's Macarena versus the electric slide, and you know it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the battle. No. I think the real battle is the moonwalk was the original electric slide. I listen. Yeah, moonwalk. You're, you're also forgetting about the chicken dancing hands up. You could. There, those are long forgotten. Hands up. If you want to do a what universal, about the cha cha slide? If nobody knows, I don't even know what that is. Well, it's very got, similar to the electric one. Yeah, you could do moonwalk versus another. The moonwalk robot. is going to annihilate. There's no nothing again. Yeah, but no, you, the you, moonwalk is a magic trick. The moonwalk is the Michael Jackson of dances. Mm-hmm. My point no, is, it would have been funny if I said the moonwalk is, is, is the Michael gotta Jordan. Put, you got to put moonwalk That's versus kind of like bit. another signature move. Yeah, moonwalk. No, but, but who? Who? I, I don't know. That's but my I'm point saying. is, if you're talking Macarena, it's yeah. Macarena versus the electric slide, and you know it. That's that's the battle. That's the group battle. But the cabbage patch versus the one in running man can be done singularly. What about the macarena with or without cheese? People will know it. What's that? The macarena with or without cheese. Oh boy. (laughs) (laughs) He's talking about the big macarena. (laughs) Well, I saw the ragu and I was thinking macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Remember? uh, I just drink my coffee out of it. Yeah. Why do we have this ragu here, by the way? I know. Let's not call attention to it. (laughs) It does fit, but it is. No, I mean, it's just uh, a colorful prop. I don't know. I don't know how it got here. I I really don't. Is there anything more delightful? Also, is there anything more delightful (laughs) than a jar of ragu? Like, I don't like ragu. Well, I don't mind it, but. It's a delightful it sounds like a product. slang. Actually. Do you still it's refer to it as gravy? These two ragus. Do, yes. you, do you still refer to it as gravy? Your people? Well, I do, but we a have, lot of Italian I, people I hate that and call it sauce. I, do sauce. I call it gravy. You know why? Because of the Sopranos. No. Because gravy. This I would call sauce. It's just tomato sauce. But it's gravy once it's on something. No, see, I call it gravy because when I make it, old timey, ma- you can't make it without the meat and meat and gravy. In gravy, like gravy comes from meat. 
Gra- gravy is a byproduct of meat. Gravy That's is why I call brown gravy. and goes on like a turkey. No, or there, a yeah, listen, listen, listen there's gravy. white gravy. Yeah, there's yeah, there's all kinds. I of mean, gravy. I I'm colorblind, but I I only like brown gravy. Yeah. I call brown gravy. This sounds like a a a, 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 a slur. Ragu. Yeah. Yeah, like Your the big fucking, ragu. Yeah. Ragu. These two ragus. Are I was out right. walking my dog the other night, and the uh, the corner there was these two ragus, and uh, I just I don't know I, I, something about it. I literally did you, I just did you I talk? Just went, did they get saucy? I didn't with even you? go. Yeah, they were. Oh, oh. You're so good. Oh, come on, I'm just you're the inspiration. Oh, of course, Chicago, Peter Cetera. When he when he got there, I I just don't want you to get flagged. Yeah, sorry, homosexual. You're the reason in my life. You're, I'm sorry, ragu. You You're the inspiration. <laughs> Do you? Uh, I have a, this Do you ragu? Serious, serious question. Oh, that could be the whole campaign. What? Yeah, do you ragu? ragu? Hey, what do you do? Do you like just that, eat out of the garbage? Yeah. Or do you ragu? Ma, this is a little dry. Psh, do you ragu? You know what I mean? Like, well, ragu it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh yes. Uh, do you do you drink at all or smoke weed ever? Yes. Um, I don't smoke weed anymore because it hurts my throat. That's the only reason. But I love it, and I take edibles. I have some with me. Okay. Love edibles. But you do get inebriated. In, I, get, in I like to get brain. high. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Because you're, I, I'm really asking. I'm not like doing a bit. I didn't you're think s- that you were. You're such a sharp guy, and you're so fast. No, I'm very serious. And you're so fast. And I'm like, I wonder if he doesn't put any illicit substance ever into his body because, and that's why he's so sharp. But it no. actually comforts me to know that you do get blasted on edibles, but still, yeah, you are like a it, Japanese knife. Yeah. Expensive. I re- I was really asking. I don't yeah, know what I think that's nice. was, no, I know. Do you, well, we've been high together. Do you feel that the weed might like dull your edges, or do you get superpower? Uh, like, listen, I, I'll have this conversation. You know, I I told my girlfriend last night. I th- I was a little high, and we went into a, a, a bodega. Did I say that? A shop. Yeah. And uh, I just I was doing my thing. Mm. Was it, was it a good thing or a bad thing? We could we could we could do an episode on that. You guys come on my podcast. We debate: Is Rick annoying or is he funny? Okay. What, that, that, this is important. What borough are you in? Uh, it was Jersey. Okay, is that, is that, that, I don't know if that's a bodega. your thing. Will be a lot more tolerated in Jersey than let's say no, no, Bushwick. No. no, because it wasn't it wasn't a thing that I threw at the wall. <laughs> yeah, it was curated. You. We all built it together. <laughs> okay, we all built it together. Okay. We all built it together. All right, all and right. I I got the last that I was supposed to get, which was oh, good. they were they that that was great. Is probably what they thought. Right. And then that was the end of it. Nothing magic, but the best it could be. Right. Sure. And I walked out and I thought like, I'm, I thought I had these thoughts, which I'll express in a second. But then before I could even finish it, I realized I think about myself the exact way my mom thinks about me. And I realized I grew up with my mom saying, Ricky, you're so funny. You're so quick. You're so charming. You're so kind. And I must have. And I didn't realize Huge it until pain. yesterday. I must have been like, <laughs> you know what, mom? You're right. I will subscribe to this for the rest of my life. And I will believe this wow. for the rest of my it life. It should happen that way. It happens in reverse. I, and that's another thing I thought. And right. I've thought that one before. Just like. You know, you could have fake confidence or, you know, you could you could just be unaware and think things that aren't the case. I'm great, but other people might have that. (laughs) But like to be told you're this, you're this and like how much work you have to do to overcompensate for that. And I think about all the time how grateful I am that like I was told. So then, are you sharp for on weed? (laughs) Your mom spoke very very differently about you to me. Very differently. (laughs) I'll get her on the phone right now. Say any of those things. No, I think that's actually really nice. I I, do you think? Do you say anything your mom used to say to you? I I I have a thing that I that my Um, mom put in my head. My mom was always. Was it that you're adopted? Elementary. It's a. (laughs) <laughs> that you don't know you, your place. You weren't really wanted. Yeah. That, yeah. Kind of stuff. that comes off. No, my mom always. <laughs> Here, because your nickname is, I disagree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to get, uh, I used to get picked <laughs> on a lot. Says. I used to get picked on a lot as a kid and my mom would go, they're just jealous. And to this day, <laughs> if I think somebody doesn't like me, in my head I go, they're just jealous. <laughs> Someone beeps at you in traffic like, hey, yeah. asshole, you're like jealous much? Yeah. <laughs> you have one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, my mom will tell you right away that I spoke. I put three words together relatively early, 
Like I spoke a sentence early. She'll tell you I learned to read early and she'll tell you that I like jazz from an early age. That's the three things she'll tell you. That, those are all very like, that's like what Kubrick would say, letting the receiver decide that you're a genius. Ah. You know, how would you describe Sal? I mean, he listened to jazz since he was one years old. He must be a genius. Right. Wait, I don't understand the quote though. Let the receiver. What you does know what also mean? happened all at one time? Uh, I, I'll remember. I'll go back. Okay. Sorry. It also happened all at one time. Yeah, that's even, you're brilliant. Yeah, I was playing a jazz record and I walked up to it and read the label. And she was like, And was the label you just, just three read, words? walked, and, and listening to jazz? Was the label just three words? Yeah. What was it? It was, This is jazz. <laughs> Man, you got it. What does, I don't think I understand that. So letting, that the, letting the audience or the receiver figure it out. So instead oh, of, the, okay. Yeah, not, you understand now? I think so. Guys, summer is the best, and there's something fun going on pretty much every weekend from barbecues, to pool parties, to family vacations, camping trips, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. For all those occasions, I want to make sure uh, I've got great wine at the ready, and that's why summer is actually the perfect time to join the First Leaf Wine Club. Now, I love First Leaf because they make it super easy to get personalized wine boxes delivered on my schedule. And since you get to choose that day, your shipment comes, you can go out and you can have all your summer fun without stressing about missing that delivery. To get started with First Leaf, all you do is you answer some quick questions about your likes and dislikes on the website, and their expert team will select a customized assortment of world-class wines based on your preferences. Personally, I want all the rosés and white wines in the, in the summer, but they've also got terrific reds and sparkling wines. I rock rosé in the summer, and I love a nice Sancerre. If I'm going to be eating fish or pasta, I like a white. That's just me. I love a, I love a rosé in the summer. Uh, I'm a Pinot Joey Noir. Rose. Joey Rosé. Joey uh, Rosé. I am a Pinot Noir guy mostly, even in the summer. I like a light uh, Pinot. With dinner. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I enjoy a nice cab. Uh, and a Sauvignon. What what want. I like about this is, is I can discover wines this way. Right now, I'm usually limited to the wine place, the, the, the liquor store, the wine store that I go to, what's on the shelves for me trying new stuff. This is different. This is uh, throws out a much bigger net. I agree. It's kind of like having a sommelier That's right. know, send you some stuff, which is really nice. Anyway, make sure you got the great wine when you want it, when you need it this summer. You got to try this first leaf, folks. Head over to firstleaf.com slash taste buds to sign up. You get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash taste buds. That's T R Y F I R S T L E A F dot com slash taste buds to get your first six bottles for under eight bucks a bottle. Try firstleaf.com slash taste buds. Folks, game time, game time, game time. I love going to events. I like going to events without a big commitment in advance. I like making last-minute decisions when I want to go to events. I want to know I can get the best tickets available at that time in that last-minute moment for the event. That's why I love game time. That's what the game time app does, and I think... A lot of people fall right under the same uh, scenario for you. You can Absolutely. buy tickets to your favorite events last minute. They guarantee the prices. You can see where you're sitting directly from your seat. They have flash deals. Um, literally comedy, sports, uh, you know, concerts. They have every kind of thing. There's event cancellation protection. Mm -hmm. um, there's just no reason not to try it, especially if you're looking for something to do. And a lot of times we associate getting tickets. Oh, we don't have them. The things tonight we can't go. Not with Game Time. Also, Game Time guarantee. They have a Game Time guarantee. That means you're going to get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less money, Game Time will credit you 110 percent of that difference. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to snag those tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use Taste Buds. That's the code for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem the code Taste Buds for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. guaranteed. So instead of saying, instead of saying, you know, it's really sunny out, right? If instead I'm doing this while we're talking, and then like I missed something, and the audience realized, oh, he missed it because it was sunny. This whole fucking time, if they were inside everything would be different. Like they get oh, wow. to be part of discovering the thing. It's why people like inside jokes. It's why people like, um, it's why people like uh, callbacks in a way. Callbacks also are fun and they make something that was spontaneous, blah, blah, blah. But like they're in on something instead of being mm -hmm. told like, um, like uh, 
hey, you got to try this pizza, dude. You're like, maybe if you trust my opinion, mm -hmm. but like if you try the pizza, you're well, like, oh, he walked up to by you and you were like, nom, 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 nom. yeah, right. Like, that's a better example. That. Yeah. That's a right. much better. Okay. Yeah. That's a much better example. If I said you got to try this pizza versus I just come in with the pizza. Dude, I'm you know not even a great hungry. Example? You know a great example? Oh, this is a good example. Yeah, you know what's he, crazy? The he, themes oh, are also being an child example. and adult. I'm so sorry. So sorry. That is wild what you just did. Was that a bit? I'll, I'll tell you I, something. No, all I wanted to say was these themes are also orbiting childhood and adulthood. Okay. This would be different yeah. if you guys had headphones. I want you to know that. I don't think people realize when you have headphones, you're, you're able to hear the other person better. No, he would. He could have that put on. He'll still just talk over everybody. I don't know. He uh, on my the, podcast. He was. The, you make a decision for yourself at the end of this hour. I hate wearing headphones. I won't wear them. I hate them too. I refuse. The last thing I need is more of you in my. You ear. know what the problem is? You're. Th uh, no, no. Listen, listen. You guys. Sorry, best cut you, sorry, you cut you off. Sorry, cut you off. I, oh, <laughs> I have the best example ever of this. When Harry and met we'll Sally. Hear that. Right when we got <laughs> with a word from do you ragu. <laughs> when Harry met Sally, I'll have what she's having. When she orgasms eating the sandwich. There it is. Gosh. That's Which was what he point, said bro. with the pizza. I yeah, was going to yeah. say that I had this conversation. It looks like, you know what? Hold on one sec. We'll keep score. Yeah. Joe gets a slice. Thank okay. you. I had this conversation <laughs> last night at, uh, in, uh, and uh, it's apropos right now. Um, or did you just read the books? What's that? Apropos. Yeah. Is that the guy with the raven? Yes. He's buried in Baltimore. <laughs> Big fan. And I'm going to quote him right now. What? We're, talking about, really kids. we're talking about kids. Is and your mom, and your mom really giving you a book. Buried in something? Baltimore? Is that real? I One sec, so. bud. Okay. I believe so. Please don't cut me off. <laughs> uh, we get some headphones. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't like headphones because you don't like wearing headphones. It's not about wearing the headphones. It's about being in the podcast. Oh, I'm in this thing. Okay. I'm in yeah. this thing. Nobody's more in this than, than well, me. Well, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> what is the greatest gift a uh, parent could give their child? Not it's I'll just Life? so I can so I can navigate this the right way. Life. It's not something physical. Yeah. Safety. What, Love. What I'm told and this was the conversation yesterday is autonomy. That's the greatest gift. It's a great gift. Literally free like freedom and autonomy. That's All a right, great gift, but but if you could, well, if you're autonomous, but you don't feel safe, what you choose to do with yourself is going to be surviving instead of living. So I don't I mean would I don't mean like I don't mean first. like put us in a basket and send us down the river. But they are like, oh, well, let, why did you let say them that? have every single. Don't rob them of an experience by telling them what they should do or should feel. Let them have that experience. Let them form their opinion and let sure. them yeah. let them learn that. Sure, what else but, that teaches acceptance. But everything yeah. also has also everything also has limits like. Some, I don't believe in helicopter parenting, but I also don't believe in, in, in don't believe complete in autonomy. Meaning, like, okay, parents that are like parents that are like let their kids running around being like, "What the f mom?" And you know, it's like it's that's like, not autonomy. Yeah. Auto well, that's not autonomy. That's allowing them to be disrespectful. They're yes. still parenting. Autonomy is here's. A, have you seen? Have you seen? Of course. Do you remember the movie Big Daddy? Oh yeah. He lets he lets him choose his name. Frankenstein. He lets him pick out his outfits. Tom Hanks. Well, okay, I do. That's kind of autonomy. But if he was going to a wedding, the kid couldn't be dressed in this big outfit. Right. But why not? Why be not? Isn't that the kid saying that's how I think you dress to show I'll, your I'll, love? I hear you at a wedding. And I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you how. Okay. And I'll tell you how by stepping back for a second and tell you a motto of mine. I live my life in a, a quarter way, mile at a time. Almost. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you win by a second or a minute. A win is a win. Okay. That's what he said, I think. Okay. But what I was going to say is I like to do what I want. And with that, I don't want to do what I don't want. But that's assuming it doesn't necessarily affect other people negatively. Mm -hmm. Example. Of course. If yeah. I'm coming in here and doing whatever I want, but I'm being disrespectful of the place, that's not okay. But I could choose to come here or not to come here. If somebody has a long distance wedding and I don't want to go to that... I, I'm not going to go. Well, that's also... Okay, hold on a second. Hold this thought. Put a pin in this thought. I want to start the battle because this speaks so much to adulthood and, and we're talking about childhood. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Time B -A -T -T B yeah, yeah, yes. hold on. Ready? It's time to... B-A-T-T-L-E, buds! Wow. First, first guy guest. To know the chant and do it with us. Listen, if I'm going to law school, am I going to watch Suits first? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You know who said Unlike that? Unlike Mike Ross. And I got to tell you, if I go to buy a suit, I might go to law school first. Well, you never know. And you're going to like the way you look. Uh, <laughs> Guaranteed.
You know who said that? Chandler Bing. Was it? No. No. Bing it. <laughs> what was that? Men's Warehouse? Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay. So <laughs> what you just said, what you just said, very interesting, and it plays into adulthood, okay? Because this is something that bothered me about that book that came out, The Subtle the Art. Missing piece. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Right? It was all about this. It was all sorry, about, sorry. There was a book that came Headphones. out called The Subtle Art of Not Giving right? I know that. So this book comes out. And the it's Orange a, Book? I, I don't know. But yeah. The, the, but, it's this, it up. but it's this big. <laughs> it was I orange. have it. You know, it, it was this big hit and everybody loved it and blah, 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 blah. Right? And what was the last? I heard it was a big. I yeah. heard it was a big hit and everybody loved it. And then what were the other things? Blah, 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 blah. What I, could those have been? If you, what, what, you felt the need to say it. Why? What are we supposed to fill in? I'm saying, I'm just saying, blah, blah. Yeah, it was why? a big hit. Why? What I, I don't know. To put I, don't I have a, I don't I have a, a specific. And all the stuff that goes along with it. Everybody talked about it. Everybody chatted. Whatever. I have a but, specific but, experience with okay, the book. Okay. So here's my point. I listened to the first chapter of it on audio. That's so funny because when you said the book, I was thinking, would you listen to it? Yeah, I listened literally one chapter. Uh, I, I just wasn't very interested in it, but I was curious. Much like Friends, this, you should get to Chapter 4 before you critique yes. it. The, book, the book's whole thing is what you're saying. Do what you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Da, 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 da. Fine, fine. But Make sure you get but, that camera switch. I don't like the example it gave. And your example also, I also didn't necessarily care for, like you said, about the wedding thing. I'm shocked. But here's, but here, let me tell you why. Okay. And da, 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 da. Let me tell you why. Right. I'm not saying so you should go to the wedding. I understand that in certain circumstances, yes, sure. But part of being an adult is saying, I'm going to do something I don't want to do for the sake of another person that I care about. Yeah. That's that, but that then works directly against yeah. what that book preaches, or at least what I gathered from the, the little I heard of it. Am okay. I wrong? No. I Ab bought the book. I read it. Please. Go ahead. I bought the book. In the airport, I read a few chapters and it wasn't taking. It was just kind of like reiterating the title to me. And I was like, I'm reading, I feel like I'm reading redundancy. Right. And then I was like, maybe it's me. And then I bought the audiobook. So this guy's got me for two dips into the pot. And then I haven't, li bit, I haven't listened to the audiobook. I never did it. Right. I mean, I, so I, I guess, found the book annoying because the, the woman who reads it you know is what? very like. I didn't finish reading it. I'm yeah. good fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to speak on this. Subtly. Yeah. I'd like to speak on the wedding thing. Huh? I'd like to yes, speak in the wedding thing. Yeah, please. Because if you don't want to go, there's a reason you don't want to go. Do you not want to go because I don't care to... I'll speak for myself. Do I not want to go because I don't care to be there? It's not worth it to me. Or do I not want to go because traveling takes a lot of work and time and money, but I would like to support. If it's that one, yes, you do the things you don't want to do because your intention is pure. Right. If you just go because I don't want to, I don't care to support. I'm obviously not that close to this person. Well, that's that, different. But, but it's not. Because are you doing something because you're supposed to, because well, you're supposed to do things for other people, or are you doing something well, because it that's means one something of the problems to you? with adulthood? Well, yeah, that's, this, is a, this is an adulthood issue, but look at it this way. You're with your girlfriend, right? She says- it's personal. She says, it would mean the world to me. It would mean the- Hold on. I, hold. No, I love this. Okay, I love it. Good, I'm good, in. good. I'm in. It, it, would mean, it would mean the world to me if once a week- when we, we eat out every night, if if three of those meals uh, could be in vegan restaurants, because that means something to me, and it just means a lot to me that you show me that you're willing to eat in a place, even though you love me, and blah, 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 blah. Now, what does blah, 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 blah mean, sweetie? Oh, what, what does da, 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 da mean? Yeah, I know. I know. Let's 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 ring every bit out of this okay. pit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to be team you now. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't Thank realize you. you were plagiarizing, <laughs> you were plagiarizing uh, Paul Abdul. Da, 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 you da, could da, 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 you could say very easily, I get nothing out of going to the vegan. Re Hold on, don't, but don't. If you want to ask a question or you want to say something, don't give me multiple choice. I'm not giving you multiple choice. Then what I'm, can I say? I'm giving you a breakdown. I'm saying you could That's easily say you could easily say I don't care about the vegan restaurant. There's no reason for me to go there. Right. I a. get no enjoyment out of it. <laughs> That's a. Or right. I could say B. In which one of those where okay. you don't go to the vegan okay. restaurant are you doing something that that's not being selfish? I am going to adulthood is confusing. It is easy, child. I'm going to take <laughs> your point and remove all the leading statements because Great. I love it. If the girlfriend said, "Hey, let's do," uh, uh, you should do vegan three days a week. My feeling would be very different than if she said, "Hey, Rick." 
it would mean something to me if we could do this because then I'm doing it for her because she's asking and she's telling me a want and a need. That's what I'm saying. So yes, I could. But her reasoning for it because I want you to show me bop, 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 I'm out. I'll do it not to show you that I'll do it. I'm not going to go to the wedding to prove to anybody anything. I'm going to go I because say I'm, show me. Yes, I you did. Run it back. I Run said it would mean a lot to me. If if you could come well, and but, show me that just because okay. you don't eat vegan then, then at the show wedding, me. are you doing the macarena or the electric slide? <laughs> show me was poor. Was show me, me the electric slide. <laughs> ding ding ding. Show me was poor wording. Show me is poor wording. Okay. But let's let's get let's just get to the broader argument of this. But, the, you, uh, but if you care about the person, you will want to do for them. Yeah, but you can't. If the person at the wedding cared a lot. It would be different than if they gave me an invitation okay. and I'm going to go there and I'm going to say five I words care, to them. I care about a lot of people in my family and a lot of friends. Awesome. They have, a, many of them have had destination weddings that cost a lot of money and are a pain in the ass. I that tracks. am furious about it, but I go. Yeah, it's your family. They're, or friends. But there are people in that, that take the stance that you're saying that would say, you don't have to go. You don't have to. That's the th we're talking about autonomy. I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice. It's about the have to. It's about starting to resent your relationships because they feel like obligations. Okay. Sometimes it is important. You do have to. I have to okay. step forward to see you. You have to step forward to see me. And it's not that black and white. Sorry. Adulthood is a mental prison. It is. None of this exists in childhood. None of it. Because I wake up. I play. I eat. Shit. Yeah, you're I a play. You're a I dumb fool. You're a dumb fool <laughs> that doesn't understand life. It doesn't paradise. understand that it can be snatched away from you at any second. Babe. It's a fool's when I'm I don't have to over the the, th the thing that happened when I which I don't even feel like an adult, but you I overthink everything. It's to the really? point of oblivion. That's you do crazy. You do, you do, we do. Right? You're not you. I that is tagged that is tag onto adulthood immediately and it never goes away and the you gain more and more responsibility granted do you have more experiences yes in every facet yes but i find myself you longing. keep going all these great things yes it's fantastic <laughs> yes you get now, to come all the time yes. yes you literally get to now, own arcades sure now so well, I, now I, I, I said those I, 200 I, things now no no but like i i as an adult i find myself longing to be a child again when it was so much simpler, Here's, when my life was not, my universe was smaller talking, and more contained, I was able to enjoy moments and people I better. understand. I understand. You're talking about a paradoxical, six, paradoxical, yeah. paradoxical, how are you, you saying? You, well, you, you just blew it, dude. Uh, which, whatever, whatever you, you just revealed yeah. you weren't really a lawyer. How do you say paradox? Suits. How do you say paradox is an adjective? Just say paradoxical. 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 Like pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> You're dealing with dinosaurs. Just say three doxicals. <laughs> uh, old people are dinosaurs, not like children. No, here's the thing. Why is it a pair of pants? It's, it's a paradox. Oh, God. One. Look at, look at me. What's one. the deal? Hey, stop hey, it. Hey, yeah. one, two. It's really simple. Okay. People are really making a meal out of that. That's a pair of pant legs. No, it's a pant leg and a pair of pants, which includes the leg. Legs is like the one in front of the X. It's assumed. A pair of shoes, too. What's this interesting is about is Rick is Rick is, is both sides of this argument. He's the adult side that can explain things like an adult, but then the child like the with zero attention anything. span, no matter what you say. What did you say? God. What did you just say? <laughs> You're both sides of the argument. Well, what was the thing you just said? That you could explain like the Let adult. Let me see that ragu for a second. <laughs> First base. Yeah, there you go. But the, the, I don't, here's, here's, wait, 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 wait. you could go back, would you go back? Let me say the paradox. go back. Let me say the paradox thing. Let me say the paradox thing. No, you wouldn't go back. That's good and, merch. No, hold on, hold on. Let me say the paradox <laughs> thing. I'm not saying eliminate your experiences okay, as an adult. I, I I'm just saying. I understand. Watch the kick the can episode of the Twilight Zone. That's what the entire episode's about. It's about old people in the last stage of their life in a home where life has lost all luster and all fun and whatever. Because they were so and, busy doing things they didn't want to do, and, unlike a kid. Right. And an old man comes in. In the movie version, it's, he's played by Scatman Crothers. In the original, I don't remember who plays him. Well, well, but if you're going to say one, we need to yeah, know and, both. And old old man, it's like, let's put this on old Scatman old man, Brothers yeah. and then look up the other one. <laughs> An old man comes in and he says, I can teach you how to be young again. And he makes them children. He makes them children okay. again. And they play kick the can. And that's how they transform into kit, transform back okay. into kids. And then in the morning, they become adults again. Okay. And he says, if you want this, I can give it to you. And all of them but one say, 
I can't do it all again. Even knowing what I know now, like I can't go I back and say do that, it all though. again. You said if you could go back, would you? Not, That's literally not what you do just it said. all again. I'm not talking about a life. I'm just talking about what is a better no, time period. You just period. said if you could hey, go but, back. But you, what the hell did you mean by that argue, question? Let's not argue well, the misunderstanding. Is, is, let's not argue the misunderstanding. Attaching semantics. You know what? Okay, Maybe he'll but, say he could have used a better choice of words. You can okay, empathize with that. What, yes. But what was your question then? You said if you... Would you go back? Does that not mean and be a kid again? Well, I just explained. I don't mean live my whole life again. I just mean that despite everything I've experienced as an adult, I think I was happier as a child. But 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 again, I'm still not understanding. You're saying if you were faced not with true, but you're you you are asking the question. Hold if on, you're, you are missing yeah. your I'm in not. to be understood, yeah. and that's a problem with adults. Yeah. No, 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 no. He just gave you the argument. Yeah. What? Did you hear what he said? No, he didn't. You know why? No headphones. That's right. I don't understand the question. He I, gave it to you on a, are you allowed to say silver platter anymore? On a silver platter. He said, I was happier as a kid. And then he said, you know what? Actually, that's not true. Pivot. When it comes to food, there are a lot of factors. But there's only one. <laughs> you you get awesome. creative. You think you're going to be their marketing I'm guy? I'm excited. Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up faster with flavorful and nutritious ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You're going to save time. You're going to eat well and you're going to stay on track reaching your goals. I forgot my factor meal today and I was furious. I about got mine. It. It's a caramelized onion and goat cheese risotto and I can't wait to eat it right after we're done with this. I use factor all the time. I say it comes every Wednesday. They're uh, fresh made. They're not frozen. They take two minutes to heat up. They have a wide array. You could pick your own. You could, you can, you know, they can send you some. They have That's vegetarian meals, part, yeah. keto meals. And I usually, lo I love the smoothies and I usually rock yeah. strawberry banana, but this week I got a variety pack and mango came in it. Me and too. we all know mango is one of my favorite fruits. It's not my favorite. Me so too. me and Factor have been having a good week. Mango's together. a mango. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. I love it. They help you stick with your wellness goals with premium ready to eat meals, high quality ingredients. They let you stick with your wellness goals by having premium ready-to-eat meals featuring high-quality ingredients, you know, broccolini, leeks, asparagus. There's 34-plus weekly restaurant-quality options like bruschetta, shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, the, the steakhouse filet mignon. And again, ready in two minutes, 50, 550 calories per serving around that number or even less. And you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals this summer? Well, you can try the Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. I, I just love every option. It keeps you on track. It keeps you right. Head to factormeals.com slash tastebuds50. You're going to use code TASTEBUDS50 to get 50% off. That's code TASTEBUDS50. 50% off. That's amazing. <laughs> That's code TASTEBUDS50 at factormeals.com slash TASTEBUDS50 to get 50% off. Folks, Joe DeRosa here from the Taste Buds podcast. I have got a big fall tour coming up. Big venues, big shows, big fun. Avenal, New Jersey, September 16th. Toronto, Ontario, September 21st through the 23rd. November 11th, Philadelphia, PA, my hometown at the old TLA. Oh, classic. November 17th, Pittsburgh, PA, Bottle Rocket Social Hall. November 18th in Buffalo, New York. November 30th, Denver, Colorado. Defe December 1st in Phoenix. December 3rd in Salt Lake City. And more dates are being added all the time. Go to jodarosa.com for ticket and venue information and ticket links. I want to see you out there, please, people. Also, guess what? The album, Salsa Windfall. Artificial Birth, available everywhere on August 1st. And if you want to buy it, you can go buy it over at Bandcamp. It's dropping August 1st on Bandcamp a little early, so you can buy it at a discounted rate, and then it hits all the digital streaming platforms on August 4th. I know you've been waiting for it. I'm excited about it. I hope you are, too. Salsa Windfall, Artificial Birth, hitting those streets the first week of August, right in time for my birthday. Also, if you're in New York City, please come to Joey Rose's. We're open seven days a week, starting at 11.30 a.m. every day. You love those sandwiches. You love those drinks. Why don't you love them together at Joey Rose's? JoeyRose'sNYC.com. If you're listening to this right now and you are in Nashville, I am here. I'm playing the Opry House tonight with the guys. <laughs> 
ImpracticalJokersLive.com for tickets. Tomorrow we will be in uh, the Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, and we're rounding it out Saturday at the Stifle Theater in St. Louis for two shows. Grab those. But I am back on tour after that because I'm filming my special in Chicago in December, and we are going to be at the Hartford Funny Bone, the Syracuse Funny Bone, the Albany Funny Bone, all by September. And then we're hitting Bowling Green, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Toledo, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, Wilmington. Macon, Georgia, which I was corrected about many times. Savannah, Athens, Georgia. I'm coming through you. Mount Pleasant. Uh, there you go. And then Peoria, Rockford, Cedar Rapids, Springfield, Illinois, Duluth, Minnesota, Appleton, Wisconsin, which just went on sale. So you get those tickets. There's still good ones. Rochester, Davenport, and Elkhart, Indiana. They're all on sale right now. They're all going to be before the end of this year. SalVolcanoComedy.com for tickets. And you know what? Check out some Hey Babe and uh, some Taste Buds merch on our website. We got some good merch, so you should go there if you're a fan and buy something. Don't be... Okay, but I'm still asking... The, I'm not getting attached to semantics. I'm asking the question. I don't understand what your question was. Were you saying if, a, if you were faced with the choice right in this moment of becoming a child again, would you or wouldn't you? What, I, what is your question? No. I'm not understanding. Just it was phrased wrong, Joe. I'm not I, saying I know, like so I'm not saying like you become a child, you give up your life, what, you got to do it all over again. But what was your I'm question? I'm just saying then? childhood versus adulthood. Compartmentalize them. A child. I'm when sorry, were you happier? The universe is when smaller. were you happier? Is that in a general sense? I was happier as a child. There are a couple of things that have happened in my life that I wouldn't take back. You know, but I'm not Name speaking two. in those terms. <laughs> what? Name two. <laughs> well, what terms are you speaking? A, a pair of things. Okay. Like pants. <laughs> yes. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Here's the deal. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the the, the idea uh, and uh, the existence of childhood and adult. I'm not talking about me. Okay. Uh, in okay, a so general you sense, all, you in a all the wrong words. Every word in a was general wrong. sense. <laughs> in a general sense. <laughs> the pr- I love what Pip agrees with me. The, the pressure. Very childlike of me to be on the side of adulthood, but and still. The, and look. Look, every time you're a child, adults are like, st- quit acting like a child, act like an adult. That's and why when it you're sucks. A- you know what? what? I think you- That's why it sucks. And children are like, I, I, treat me childhood, like an adult. Childhood, you know, it's always the grass no is always greener. What, no matter what progressive, new agey parent advice no, podcast you're- I'm not getting a bit out of this, you, actually. I'm not making a bit. No, I'm going to okay, make a bit out okay, of it. Okay, good. But no matter what new agey podcast or whatever it was you were listening to last night that said, give your kids autonomy, it is impossible- to give a child true autonomy. You can't you can't you can't give a child true autonomy. Yeah. There will still be the requirements and the discipline of you go to bed at this time, you eat at this time, you cannot eat Kit Kats for dinner, you cannot you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's not but, what they meant. But, but hold on. That's not I, what they I meant. I understand what they meant. I understand. They didn't say run wild I, on I, on a Hershey M&M I, I, Corporation. I understand what they meant. And therein is the reason that being a child will always there suck in. more than being an adult. An adult, I am 45 years old. And every, arguing with a child. Yes. Yeah, this is what's happening. Every single Act thing. Act like an adult. I'm telling you something. Every single thing I wanted as a child that I couldn't get because I didn't have any money, I buy it now. Any meal I want to have that a parent would have said, you can't eat that right now. I have it now. Anytime I want to sleep, I sleep. Anytime I I want to work, I work. Anytime I want to play, I play. I I do what I want to do. And And that is why I don't You are a basket case. I'm not a basket case. I am too. We all are. I didn't mean to slide on you. I mean, we are a basket case. I have, you have stress, you have pressure, you have anxiety, you have, you're on this medication, that medication. You got to worry about other people now. Buddy, I got news for you. Let me finish. No, no, I hear you. I'm agreeing with you. But I'm saying I got news for you. Most kids these days are on those same medicines nope. and are basket cases. Nope. I was depressed as a kid. Yep. And I was depressed as a kid because yep. of the lack of cho- freedom of choice. That depressed nope. the shit out of me. I hated where I lived. I didn't like as the town a, I was in. As a in. child, all that goes away. And hamster Everything. doesn't know what other wheels are out in the world until it experiences da, them. Da, 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 so da. though you may not... <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's! <laughs> You did it. You you did it. I know. It. I meant to say that and that, 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 but I, I changed it a little. Oh yeah, fun. I thought you were doing a McDonald's thing. I was. Well, I wasn't. Forget it. I, Let's is move that on. because he's being so salty? It is. It is. No, no. Yes. You know that was a sesame seed pun. Oh wow. What I'm saying to you is is like I'll give you an example. Okay, I have a great example for you. I remember Christmas morning uh, when I was I believe ten years old. What year were you born? Seventy-seven. 
Okay, so out. this so, is eighty seven. I got so Rocky three. It was out. a big. It was a big. Uh, it was a big GI Joe Christmas that year. My big present was the. Um, I got like the 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 fucking hovercraft or some shit. The truck that went into the water and it had depth charges, whatever it was called. I got that and a bunch of GI Joe guys, and you know, and then my my aunts and uncles came over and they gave us presents and blah blah blah. When was the last time you got a GI Joe as an you adult? Got, uh, he goes out and buys them himself. Yeah, now. I mean, yeah. Oh, you have to go buy them yourself. <laughs> I mean, what are we get talking a, about here? That's that sounds tough. <laughs> oh, you think people don't give them to me after shows? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, my point is, is there were all we opened all the toys, we put everything together, we played with them for a little while, and I remember, dude, it was like 5 p.m. It December 31st, barely, the stuff had barely been opened and played with, and I said, Do you know where your children are? I I got sad and I said, I'm bored. And my aunt goes, how could you be bored guess with all what? this? And I, but, and I remember, what? but I That's remember. a privilege to be bored. Okay. Okay. Fine, I want to be bored. But it's childhood. Well, then watch this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, now that's a sesame seed as a, pun. As a child, as a child, I, I'm still, I'm still an adult who is filled. I mean, over, I'm 10 pounds of wonderment in a five pound sack, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I am. I, I love wonderment, and I've tried to hold on to wonderment. Okay, but as a it child, shows, everything's wonderful. Way. You get what's that? It shows. You Thank really you. are. Honestly, I've said this to you many times. You are. Are you being serious now? Uh huh. Yes. A lot of wonderment in you, my friend. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you too. Well, I do what I can. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like, buddy, I have it too. I just, I get, just, I just, get just stop the things. noise, right? Yeah. Shrink down. <laughs> That's so cute. Go on. Can we acknowledge that we're just talking about our wonderment? He's like, buddy, I have wonderment. <laughs> <laughs> I get all struck. <laughs> Go on. That's so sweet. I mean, I saw Indiana Jones twice in the theater. I cried my eyes out both times. Right. Okay. I'm I Indiana get Jones too. Child, I get swept away, but I, I hear you. I well, hear you. So uh, just shrink everything down. C- cancel the noise. Right. Put on headphones. Okay. Shrink everything down. Your universe becomes exponentially smaller. It's limited, and within those limits is freedom that you cannot have when you do not have those limits. And as a child, you're also getting to experience everything all over again. The happiness I felt as a child is way different than the happiness as it registers now in, in a because general sense. I, I will say, there is something to but your palate open wasn't... And go, ah! I'm not doing that Your now. Your palate wasn't sophisticated yet. But does but I think there's beauty in the simplicity. I really there do. Is, there absolutely is. But if you cannot fully appreciate something, by definition, it cannot be fully appreciated. If you only But I had, can appreciate it but you're talking with the knowledge of it. If I'm a child, I don't have that knowledge. I'm still satiated. And there's the rub, which you won't know anything about because you can't appreciate marinated flavors. Okay, what I'm so saying we is- don't know what is out there, and you're saying you have a great life, and we have we don't know we know nothing. But the fact that we don't know what's out there, just as adults, goes to show you that there is still things to be discovered. So and I could feel that way as a child, of course, uh, yeah, and as an adult. And I think I here's here's what I think. Here's That's what I think. Point. You, I think, the, and I can only speak to my own experience as a child and an adult. I am wired almost identically now to how I was a as giraffe. a kid. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm identical. I was an irate kid. I was a curmudgeon kid. Uh, I was a bum. I was a kind of a melancholy kid. Uh, I, <laughs> all good merch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. But like all these all these adult traits that aren't so uh, uh, savory or whatever. I had them as a kid. Uh, my excitement about things as a kid carries over to now. The things I love and get enthusiastic about now, uh, same as a kid. I laugh as much what as I did. Think, when, what, what, so, do think, so, what, what do you think the feeling of not loving nostalgia is? But here's the, You're longing no, no, for the childhood. Sh- I, I get it. Why is everyone's favorite decade the decade I they were it, like 10, I get it, 15. but you could swap that. You could swap that with as a kid, I was longing to be old enough to be able to say I'm going to live where I want to live. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an even trade there. Here's my point. This is the big difference. I don't think people are that much greatly wired, that much differently wired as adults than they were as children. Sure, life has thrown different stuff trauma, at them bro. when they get older, right? And there's a different level of innocence. But I agree with here's you. The di- but here, let me just get to ahead. this ultimate point. Go ahead. The difference is, ultimate and the difference point. why adulthood will always be better, is adulthood lets you pick your spots, and childhood does not. It doesn't, especially if God I take forbid it, you've never seen Richie Rich. <laughs> exactly. Especially God forbid Dennis the Menace, dude. When you're a child, 
How many how many toxic relationships are you at the mercy of as a child because you don't have the authority to get away from them? A teacher, sure. a, a, a coach, still, you're still, some friend's dad, you're still in, somebody in your family. How, how about when you get older, you're literally you're 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 intertwined in a toxic but you relationship. Can, but you can say but you this can, is toxic. You, I'm getting away from it. You not only have the palate to understand what your needs are. For example, I don't want to go to this wedding. You also get to choose. Your circles. Now, granted, depending on what type of employment you have and job, you have to check in, check out. But still, you get to choose your wife or your husband, or I'm not sure what the other ones are now, but whatever they are, yes, you get to choose them. <laughs> I had a point, and I and I have ADHD, and so I lost it. But what what I was saying was, wait, let me get try to get it back. Um, okay, I also feel like I have many of the traits I had as a kid. Right now, mm -hmm. I even said I don't feel like an adult. In up here. I still feel the feel. I feel like a kid. Okay. How old? How old? What? Yeah. What do you feel like? Because I feel like I'm in my early twenties, not a kid. I feel like I can pull from every bucket. I really do. Yeah. I do. I mean, you know, like within. Reason. I feel like I'm. I feel like I. I have. I am consistently twenty five. That's what I feel like. But look, look, look. You I could still. Like you could still feel that way. Right. Sure. But everything around you changes the dynamic of your of world your relationship and your connections to things and like how you friends, process things. season four once they got rich exactly Dude, when i was a kid when i was when i was in grade school okay when i was in grade school i used to get terrorized terrorized by this because kid you were an italian american yes yes and we had moved to reseda in california and an asian man taught me karate and how to fight Did back. you know Chris Karate Kid? On, never saw the karate kid. They, remember they hated him just because he was I, Italian? I yeah. uh, but, <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. But, but sure, kid, but you could but, have you could have bullies. But, but, bullies but, suck, yes. But, but yeah, of course. And that and bullies, is good merch. But hold on. Right. And bullies are real in adulthood as, as well. Right. But here's the thing. I had a kid that physically and emotionally terrorized me at my grade what school. What kind of things did he do? Uh, dude, he, I remember once he took a metal folding chair like and the when, wrestlers use yeah but like a real one that's they actual real ones. steel <laughs> like well i think they use real ones but i think they might maybe have a little give to they're also know. adults I mean, I and know, they maybe. know how to take a hit yeah yeah and like he, my ex-wife he swung it now granted my grade <laughs> school was uh each class was like 20 some kids Miss was small Catholic school. there was nowhere to turn there was nowhere to turn what do you mean there's nowhere to turn is 20 a lot each grade each class in my grade school was 20 some kids that's okay. how small this. My graduating class in eighth grade was thirteen kids. Seven of them didn't graduate. <laughs> yeah, they got held back. <laughs> so there was nowhere That's to 35%. hide. Like there was nowhere to hide. You know, every you you were you were all together in in like this very small space. And this kid, I remember one of the things he did was to, to me. He swung this metal. He went like that. He picked it up and he goes like that and like brought it like within a centimeter of my face and stopped and he goes. That's what I want to do. I want to bash your fucking face in with this fucking chair. Well, and dude, I mean, I, I mean, that kid's home life was when you're fucked. 12. That is the most horrifying thing. I think I was 11 that you could ever experience. Oh. I would go home. You weren't 12. to my mom. No, I was 11 or 12. I know. I went home uh, to my mom. I literally would have breakdowns like nervous breakdowns about it. But but my point I can't is this. With anything here. I understand. As a point of, my point is this. You can't get out of that as a child. The tuition's paid at the Catholic school. I'm stuck. I can't transfer. It's May. Whatever the hell it is, you're stuck. You got to deal with that every day. You go to the, you go to the nun and go, uh, excuse me, Greg's picking on me. She goes, you boys just get along. What dismisses it. He finds out you told on him. You're going to get it even There's worse. There's a version of that in the workplace. The, Look, all I'm I saying get is. I it, but you can't. <laughs> No, it's hard for all uh, of what's us. The guy, what's the kid's name, first and last? Yeah. It would be nice if you did this that first. That is tough. That really is tough. It would be nice if you didn't have to see him do it. I know. I know. Hey, we have to I learn know. how, we have to learn how we, we, get, we want to be loved, you know? Yeah. And, and that's yeah. something that isn't just for, that isn't just for kids. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my point. <laughs> that should be a podcast that you have. <laughs> here's my point. <laughs> yeah. But or, here's or my point. finding the kid. Finding I told the kid. <laughs> yeah. finding, what's his name, first and last? Dude. First what, and last. What about this? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, he had a bad time. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. What about this? Honest to goodness. We get people submitting names of bullies that actually bully them, and we get stories of it, and then we get the bullies on the podcast. They don't know what it is yet. We just say we're interviewing random people, right? We get them on the podcast, and you don't assume that they're bully. You just ask them, hey, 
Tell me the other I think side. It feels hard to produce. I, that's a great idea. I think they did that on like Maury. I'm not kidding. I think they did that. Oh, on, like, I think we Maury might need Maury of that because <laughs> I haven't seen that. And then another idea that I just got off the top of my head, inspired by that, is we could bring in uh, couples here that have a kid, uh, and and the guy doesn't know, and then he they could take a DNA test oh, to see yeah. if they did that on Jerry Springer. You know what I would okay. like to do okay. is find some unruly 12 year old, 13 year old, 14 year old girls and send them to boot camps. Now we have a show. All right. That's good. All right. You can't get out of it as a kid. As an adult, there are ways. I know I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying you have options back. to circumvent. As a child, you are like, that. this is it. Dude, I got beat up by this kid, Roger. Craig Craig Rogan. Rogan. In my own backyard. <laughs> no one's ever been beat up by no a ever, No one's ever been beat up by a Roger. <laughs> I know some Rogers that were tough. Yeah. Roger he Predactor. Beat me, he beat me up in my own back. Will you Google Roger Predactor, In please? my own backyard. Yeah, you know, That's childhood. Okay, honestly, it's hard to have this argument when we're referencing your childhood. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but in a broad, a in, in a broad honest, sense, in a broad you know. sense, there is less responsibility. There is, is there less, is. there is less. Who is he? Oh, got it. Roger Bredactor. I barely knew Bredactor. her. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Why did he follow you to your yard and beat you up? What was the, I fucked his mom. I fucked his mom. I fucked his mom. Yeah, let's hear both sides she, of the story. She had these books on tape. <laughs> I listened to a whole bunch of first chapters. <laughs> no, uh, so like, I'll tell you something. One of my favorite books is Game of Thrones, and I have to say, I love the the dad of what's his name. What's the dad's name? Roger. Uh, no, the dad the, the, uh, on the, thrones. On yeah, thrones? The, you know what's the last name? What's yeah, the last the names of them all? Persimmons? Not the Lannisters. The, 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 Lan the Lannisters, the and West the ones, Capitulates, and the Montagues. No, you're thinking of uh, of Boogie Nights. The uh, well, I have I no idea. Yeah, the, I didn't watch it. Game of Thrones. Tar Tar Targaryen. No, not the Targaryens. Tully. What, what, what's uh? What's uh? The what, main character, Lannister. Ver, uh, Lannister and the other people are yelling the answer. Yeah, it's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Lannisters. Uh, Lannister nemesis. Who are the Game of Thrones families? Type in, type in, type in. Yeah, type of Game of Thrones characters. Just do that. Game of Thrones cast. That'll be simple. Stark. No characters. Stark. Stark. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. Stark. I, I, I let the record show that I knew that before it came up. It did. Ned Stark. I'll tell you something. I could tell this guy is going to be huge throughout the entire series. That was a long walk for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't understand. <laughs> I missed the entire. Did you see is, Game of Thrones? No. Um, Never saw it. What was the joke? <laughs> uh, there's well, spoiler alert. There's a character who, at the end of the first season or one of the books, he is no more. And I was making a joke that since you've only read the first chapters of all these books, that oh, this guy, oh. he's going to be there the whole time. Oh, okay. And okay. all the <laughs> assumptions that you make in your life. Yes. From just knowing one, you chapter. know, if I can make yes. a, if I can, uh, if I, I, I read most books all the way through. If Me I can, too. if I can provide a parallel, <laughs> if I can provide a parallel, you not choosing to be informed with the rest of the chapters after one is very similar to childhood. what you're saying a child, a childhood is, and that's it's funny because you you're practicing it without knowing. Well, it. The, I was started to say this earlier. The reason I didn't continue on with the book was not only did the sentiment not grab me, the woman reading it I found to be very annoying. Uh, that's a whole other bag. But what is your relationship yeah. with women? Very good. I love women. Just not their voices. Most of the or tendencies or the voting I could do without. <laughs> Outside of that, I'm good. <laughs> you like vo voting off the island? Sounds like. It Sounds like you um, the, uh, have a complicated relationship with wait, Roger's mom. To answer to answer Pimp's question, why did I get beat up in my backyard? Uh, it, because it was a, you know suburbs. It was a small group of kids. Like oh. everybody just hung out with everybody. And this kid was a dick. He, he later be, we became friends and actually became cool. But so is he in the ditch with you? Why are you in? Your, are you? We're no, in you, the ditch. We're in the backyard. Your, oh, yeah. just your yard. Yeah. We're just in the backyard. And when? How did it start? He just hit you in the face. He he didn't beat up his too strong though. He grabbed my head and palmed it like a basketball and started squeezing it like <laughs> oh my and applying so much pressure was he that a I was like, advice? He was a very big kid. He was a very big kid. 
almost like he got. He adult. wasn't like my yeah, mom was like, like you're adult. not allowed in our house anymore. She saw him do it, and he she, he was just a bully. He was a bully kid that like hung out with us and like got away with it. This is what I mean about being a kid. Why it sucks. He got away with it is he would do it when people turned their back and nobody ever saw him. If do we're it. talking about and a broad sense here, I mean, what adults I'm do that. Look at I mean, the, look at I mean, I don't want you know. First they came for the for the yes. for the Jews and nobody said anything. Right. Adults do do it, but Fuck. as an adult. <laughs> As an adult, you can get in your car oh, and drive yeah? away. You know what? Then you're a lucky adult. Okay. Because there's a lot of people that can't get away. A child isn't going to start a no, war. I'm not saying there aren't. You you know what? I'm you're not, saying as an adult, not as a refugee, for example. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, saying, I'm not saying there aren't adults that aren't in bad situations. And there's a lot of kids that don't get, get beat up in their backyard all the How time. I'm saying you've got an option as an you've got far more of an option as an adult to to get out of something. But you don't bad have you don't have somebody you do who, as a kid. All the bad in the world is caused by adults. All of it. A hundred percent of it. Uh, that kid bullied you because his, his parents did a bad job with him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's I get and, it. and their parents I get it. did a bad job it's with not them. About, right. It's not about exactly. it's not about pain. It's not about evil. It's not about bully. It's not about this. It's about an option to change your situation with immediacy as an adult versus as a kid. Whether it's but with, because okay, you want to so have fun. That's a plus for you. But this, huge, this it's, columns. It's the hugest okay. plus. I'm just talking ever. about broadly, broad in a broad sense, mm -hmm. a kid is can be a happy go lucky he could be bored he or she there's not an agenda the agenda is to experience life and educate yourself and it stops there play and educate and that's it everyone is loving oh it, buddy buddy I as much as i love being a kid and love love everything you're saying yeah if you think that you stop play and educating when you become an adult that's the problem. No, you don't. And I agree. I, also, right I would agree. I, I would agree. But, but what I'm saying like is it's a, like it's the, at its purest form. I think you're also painting. I love painting, hanging around kids. You're painting like a Don Hold Reed. on a second, Joe. Oh, boy. Go on. Yeah. I love being around them because they're so innocent and pure, and I love that. Officer, I'm not an adult, I swear. <laughs> 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 I mean, I said it that way to throw but you a bone, but I, to throw, to throw a bone. bone? Yes. Who are you throwing a oh, bone to? Oh, oh I need a bone. bone. You know what? I've never seen you as a defensive up. person. I was serving that up. I saw you realize what you said. <laughs> no. I, yeah. I was, I was, what's that called when you're inside and inside with Leo the DiCaprio? Arrogance. The, Inception. the adult yeah, arrogance in the man. I'll, I knew what I was for childhood. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. No, I'm not, not I'm being dead serious on That's that. That's why I'm giving it to you. Okay. So you're painting a, you're painting a Donna Reed sitcom version man, of childhood. I don't get any references. You're painting a, you're painting a, you're painting an all my sons. Write down a child's day it. on paper and write down an adult's day on paper in a general sense. I, the child is just, I'm longing for the simplicity. But you could choose but I to think have that as an adult. Yeah. No, I don't think you can. Even if I you have, yes, you could. You could Look at my shorts. These were $500. Yeah, but you have, really? I stole them. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Now, look By at me. By earning money. <laughs> <laughs> I stole them from work. Okay. I went to work. They paid me. I bought, you know why I saw these shorts and you know what I didn't do? Mommy, can I have these shorts? And my mom goes, not now, honey. We have to, you know, daddy, the restaurant is closed and things are tough right now. I went, I went, I looked at the shorts and then I took them and I went to the cashier and I said, mommy, can I have these shorts? Put it on my car. All right. Good. Yeah, that's great. Did you piss your but pants I, and, and yeah, ran away? You know, a, I mean, just, issue, I, I mean, summer's off. I mean, but Sal, off. I've been Sal. off for a decade. Sal, I know you're, you're, no. you're, yeah. what you're this saying, is work. what you're saying about what you're saying about, do you want to play over and sell ads? What you're saying, <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying about, Sorry. uh, like w when you made the, the, the thing, when you made the joke about my child, well, when it's your child, it is kind of hard to, whatever. He, you're he, doing he, you're I, doing the same thing with your adulthood though. You're describing your adult life in 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 Stop, it's not my adult per life. Your adult with, life. with adulthood comes stress and anxiety and pressure and responsibility. But you have stress and anxiety. <laughs> what? what? That's that's from Spider-Man, right? Oh, good what I'm yes. saying, though, is you have stress and anxiety as a kid. You have depression as a kid. All of those things are there as a kid. The, the agenda is there as a kid. We got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do this. You don't talk to them. They're not cool. He's a nerd. He doesn't get to hang out with us. That person but You're saying sucks. the same thing for adults. We have to go to this wedding. We have to do that. We have to do this. No, no, no. And he was saying yes. economy. Again, not, I just I just want to pull back a little. Pull back. I, I'm saying the very simple statement of as a child, you have less responsibility, True. less stress, and less or people around you. Universe is smaller, and I think 
within those confines is something that is very, very, very appealing. Despite I could make a list of pros. Yeah, so and he's cons just talking. Pro, right. He's just talking the pros. Sure. You're just saying pros of being a child. You're not yeah. negating that there's pros of an adult. Go on. Right. On my on my 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 worst problem as a child. Uh, the worst worst problem in. Okay. In a general sense, a child's worst problem that is not in a war torn country. A day to day. A day to day. A day to day child. Uh, their worst problem. You know. It's not even you. Becky can't, wouldn't suck them off in the bathroom. Whatever it may be, everyone's different. But when you get to, this, it's not even close. You can't even have I the just, conversation. I, hated, I hate. He, so this is this is why my argument is different. I remember. I got so, an ulcer. I got I a mortgage. I a, got an asshole boss. I got a kid that won't listen to me. I got a promiscuous daughter. I got into a car accident. I got to call the insurance. And I'm company. only twelve. <laughs> 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 this is why childhood sucks. I know. I I, I just remember from such a young. These are this, these are all true statements. I remember. Roger squeezed my head. Uh, well, it's well, different. Yeah. <laughs> Roger squeezed my head. Roger squeezed you my head. A- Wait, Roger, that's a great t-shirt. Roger <laughs> squeezed my head. <laughs> we just... We- <laughs> You know what? When you get older, the world is Roger. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Do you know what I mean? But I The will- world is Roger. But here's what... <laughs> Where's here's- Roger in here? He's omniscient. Here's what I will say. Here's what I'll say, and we, we got to wrap up. But here's what I would say. I was a from a very point, early I just age. From a very early age, yeah. I remember when I was in. I, and I'm, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> what grade? That's in third or fourth grade. <laughs> I, just, I remember being annoyed. I just squeezed my head. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. It's such a funny T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please so write this, that what down. Is this 1984? Third. This is I, when yeah, Transformers yeah, comes whatever out. Whatever it is, whatever. Right. I remember knowing what dating was, knowing that I liked the idea of women like or, or, or girls or whatever at a young age and being so frustrated that i was and I, and going to school and seeing the eighth graders like boyfriend and girlfriend in the playground stuff yeah. and being so annoyed like i have to wait years and you're before. still you still have to do it How i does know it feel I as still, an adult? it's about three more years and i'm gonna be <laughs> able to do it no but i was like i i have to wait years to experience that i hate this i remember on the fir- this is not an exaggeration i remember the first day of grade school in third grade waking up and going to myself i can't believe i have to do another year of this the i can't whole- believe it's gonna be another seven years before i get to fuck I'm talking in a general but, sense. Let me ask you. I, I understand. I but the one? homework, the teachers, the whatever. I hated not having money to buy the comic books I wanted to buy or the toys I wanted to buy. I know. I'm saying I it's it's hard it. using you you in this example. Right. Okay? Most kids but you don't think most kids think are annoyed about, at that? This is, let me rephrase it like this. The bar to make you happy when you're younger is so low. Yeah, and then you when you get older, it takes a bar. You, you, have, you have the best day in the world if you if you got ice cream, okay? Sure. You, I would need to hit the mega millions right now to recreate that happiness. What was the last okay. time you had ice cream? But last week. How was it? Fine. I didn't even need to have it. I know. Okay. And that's real. And you we can talked take about that this. to the bank we talked and about this. We talked about this on the road. <laughs> we talked about this on the road. And here's where I will see you. <laughs> really? Here's where, I, here's where I will see you. And I had a cookie you. last night that you would have thought, I, I'm surprised I didn't come. Yeah, really? I'm t- Boy, honestly, you're like penis <laughs> from LA? Uh, there's, a place, there's a place in New Jersey, and I'll tell you after, I get weird about telling spots near where I yeah. dwell. Have sex? But... I'm telling you right. something. I was a little stoned. I got in this place. The cookies are good. We were all over a little stoned last night. You're going to bodegas. Cookie we, no, stores. We, we went to dinner, and then then I want specific. I wanted to go to this cookie place, and then we walked home, and we passed by the thing. The cookie place. They just they're always making the cookies every week or two weeks. There's new flavors. They had something that I'm surprised they don't have often. Chocolate chip. I ate this. I ate. I ate this. But your audio only listeners won't be able to understand this. Because I'm going to show you my my reaction. I ate this cookie, and this is what I felt. Hey, yeah, it's a great feeling. I've had Your great balls are blown chip. off. I've had great chocolate chocolate chip cookies before. Doesn't mean that. Uh, yeah, but it was un. Believe, but you have to find that one. You know which one makes you feel that way as a kid? The first one that's handed to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Your bar is a lot lower. If you left that me alone with my I thoughts just right gonna... now, I would literally have an anxiety attack. If you left me alone with my thoughts as a kid, Star Wars figures are going to fight G.I. Joe's, and that's but unorthodox. That's, but, but so, so you what I, I hear you, but what you're saying to me, fought my X Men, and I can what you're, in the bubble right. Bath. What you're saying to me, and, yeah, hold on, what you're saying to me, and that's what happens when you're alone with your what, thoughts. You, what you're saying to me about my childhood, Joe, it's hard for you to use your childhood to judge this argument. 
I'm saying to you about your adulthood. I don't think every adult feels like if you left me alone for five minutes, I would have an anxiety attack. I'm, I, I'm well, being hyperbolic. No adults are left alone well, anymore, I, thanks I, to all cell right, phones. All right. right. I had tons of fun and happiness in my childhood. I'm pointing out the parts of it that I'm I'm going to put at the negatives because I'm arguing against I would it. fist pump being able to stay up 15 minutes later. All right, Roger. Okay. Uh, that's 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 a thing that made me joyous. Yeah, yeah, I, made me too. Made every kid joyous. The, in, in sleep over this day and age. You got to get front row tickets best to friend, Paul McCartney. Your best friend Billy can sleep over. You're joyous. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, sleep over. We're gonna take, I feel this way podcasting. I get this way podcasting with friends. Yeah. I get that way. I get that way when I go. I'm, I'm at my girlfriend's place and I know she she wants. She's tired. She wants to go to bed and then she goes. I think I want something to eat and then it's like, wait a minute, are we ordering something? Not only are we getting food now, but also I know we have another hour I, I, staying up. I got yes. to be honest. That the surprise ordering delivery really will rev my engine. Wait that'll, a minute. Yeah, wait. That'll get me. I don't, we're getting we're getting tacos right now. Do you want to? Should we get like? Do you want to get tiramisu or something? We're already getting it. That feels like a kid. Except for now, I don't have to ask my mom. I don't know. I I don't think that could be distilled down to that exact emotion. <laughs> I think it's a wait, we cousin can go of back it. to that. Hold on. Let's wait. Wait. wait I just oh, saw gonna, a great we'll go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. All right. I didn't see. No. No. Pimp the priest thing. Where's the uh, wait? Was, all of these were responded just now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good right for there. you guys. I didn't have any creepy priest telling me to sit on their lap in my adulthood. <laughs> so I think I'll go with that. That's. I funny. watch my toddler laugh at the most benign things, and no, I will never experience that type of true joy ever again it's impossible as an adult do me a favor i do agree with that Keep that one there respond to that person please and say then you should check out the take your shoes off podcast okay <laughs> well i that's the that's you, the, ex, expressing exactly what i believe it's, it's the pure a, everything is more pure off. that is a t uh, that uh, is first of all first of all that is not correct you're witnessing a child laugh at something because they are experiencing it for the first time and they're and new to it. And that's wonderful. Okay. I'm not saying it's not wonderful. You're telling me you've never sat at a table with a bunch of comics and laughed harder than you've ever laughed in your life to the point where tears are coming out of your eyes? Sure. I would need a professional comic. Okay. But it's not impossible. To be fair, you're it's, using him as an example saying, let's not use your life. You're talking, we have some of the funniest friends in the world. Right. Okay. I watched my friend Brian once when he was on crutches, and I was 18 when this happened, so that's technically an adult, right? Uh, try to walk through mud, and the crutches got stuck in the mud, and he fell over in the mud. How old are you, 18? Yeah. That's I mean, you can't me, tattoo but... your abortion. Okay. But go ahead. He fell over in the mud and was screaming at us as we laughed at him, and it's the hardest I ever laughed. My stomach hurt. I almost threw up from laughing. It was one of the Jeez, funniest things. you obviously things. have never seen Bill Burr at Red Rock. It was one of <laughs> <laughs> My point is, is to say, I watch my toddler and it's wonder. It's, it's, it's your pure. toddler doesn't know anything. That's what's great. That's what you're missing. That. That's no, what I'm saying. No, but he's saying through the eyes of the top. What he's basically what he's saying is, hear me out, please. Going back to the hamster wheel. Yeah. A hamster doesn't realize it doesn't get to eat sushi. So it is loving this wheel. But what he is saying is. You enjoy your wheel, hamster. Now that I've been let out of the cage, I love this cucumber wrap. And the truth is, and I don't want to blow your podcast up, but the truth is there's pros and cons to both. And the best case scenario is, as an adult, try to live your life as free as you can with autonomy without stepping on anyone's toes. And that way, if you want to go to the wedding, you will. And if you don't, you could stay in, you could order some cookies, you could your girlfriend or have her suck your or play with your asshole or something and just live your life as a kid in this adult body. My name's Rick Glassman and I I'm say, running for play. And, <laughs> and I got to say that. And I got to say that. That was like how, I, when Jerry Springer wraps yeah, up the episode. It was great. It was great. And I got to say right now the, for the, every sponsors, for things, every but, moment, for every moment of child wonderment of the, t why did you I've roll your yeah. eyes? You know why you rolled your eyes? Got, because because you're tainted. Finish. You're a tainted adult. No, you went, because every no, moment of child wonderment. No, no, I'm going to tell you why. It's amazing. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why I'm rolling my eyes. I'm going to tell you why I'm rolling my eyes. Because it's another parent talking about the miracle of their child. Okay, you're you find it wondrous because you're watching something. No, that's not true. Let, let me, let that's true. It's 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 He didn't have this. He didn't have this, and now he's. He, he, of course, he doesn't want somebody to look at their child and feel that way because adopted, you didn't have it. <laughs>
And you know what? You get to pick your mom now. <laughs> Come here. And we're your moms. <laughs> no. For all the <laughs> time you stood I, by me, for all the joy that you let me see, for all the joy you brought to my life, it's for all the wrongs that you made right, for every dream you made come true, for every dream you had to you, I'm the every way I am. Because you loved me. And I'm sorry that you didn't grow up with someone loving you that way. I did. Oh, well, then what are you being such a curmudgeon about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did? Let the bodies in the <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> I'm saying. Finish him. I am saying. I'm sure I'm saying the I the the, the, the she didn't say <laughs> ba, 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 ba. she didn't say or this person didn't say I watch children. She said I watch my child. I think it's an unfair But I'll say I watch children. I think it's an unfair You did it again. Ah. I think it's an unfair bias that you're putting on something. And for every ch that's where the eye roll came from. But this is what I was going to say. Children are more innocent. This is going to be something fact. where an okay. angel gets its wings. For Watch. every, for every, for every time a for child every... can giggle. No, let me please let me say this. Okay. God damn it! For every child, every time a child, <laughs> let me just say this. Let me just <laughs> say <laughs> it. <laughs> for every child that laughs hysterically for the first time they see a smurf or something oh my god the wonder in that an adult has an orgasm okay Laughing there is are better things than coming. an adult hits blackjack in vegas that's uh, cool an adult goes Addictions. to a concert and buys the front row tickets and Don't sees their favorite band uh, or, addictions or, 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 uh, or uh, material to, items are okay are, you're are, talking are, about dopamine highs yes as opposed to just wonderment yes you don't yes. think you can find wonderment as an adult that wasn't what i said that a child giggling is not Wonderment. A child yes, giggling is. is a child expressing its L sense of humor. Like Stanley Kubrick says, it's much more enjoyable for you to discover it yourself. And a lot of people will say, oh, you're watching The Office for the first time? I'm, I'm so sorry. jealous that you get to experience it for the first time. But mm -hmm. I would say, as an adult, I could then create stories, write my own things. The Six Lead, I'm Phenomenal. Uh, I come so from, many. I come from, I you, come could from you could give I other come from a that. family that laughed a ton like like snort laughing at holidays. Give us an example. Crying, laughing. Show us a snort Uncle's laugh. Uncle's getting up and telling the same story every year. Tell your skiing story that we all love. The same Everybody, story. Because it's like, tell the story we all love. You know, that kind of thing. Everybody laughing hysterically. I'm sorry. I don't find it crazy and, and wondrous that a child laughs hysterically at something. As an adult, I laugh a but lot. But you don't find it lot. wondrous you because need... you are looking at it as the adult. It's not what you find the kid to be. It's the experience the kid has. Correct. It doesn't matter if you're noble or if you are just. As long as you find yourself in a position so, to love and love. to trust. Are yes. You, are you coming down on the side of of childhood i will never come down on the no, side i mean childhood. are you voting i mean you voting childhood i am saying that childhood to you two unfortunately has an age limit i am saying childhood is this belief in 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 wonderment in play you could try to recreate it as best you can and you might do well with it but you can never physically be had the brain and the you can't you can't recreate it that's all i'm saying you can practice it and, and i agree because that's what i do much like religion but, yes you could practice it you, could but practice you can't it. be it but the I fuel think, you need to make you happy is just that I the think, fuel you need to make you happy and and to make you uh you know uh, uh feel comforted or feel satisfied it's so little so much less i think people it's, it takes so little yeah I but think, you're saying less you're 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 glorifying by saying a lower bar but another version of that is saying a lower standard if you could just walk around and be like oh look at this rock and enjoy it good for you but you're not going to truly appreciate oh. the, the complex flavors of a michelin restaurant the love of a woman or a man who comforts I, you in a moment of emotional I actually, vulnerability wait a second i may wait trade a second. in a Michelin restaurant Wait a second. for childhood. I actually have a great point. No one told me life was going to be this way. I have a great way. point. I have a great point. Wait, hold on. I think you know somebody has a point. I, you know why a child is? <laughs> you know why a child finds wonderment in the, a ladybug? 
Because he's seen it for the first time. I still that, find him in Lady Hold on Bugs. a sec. What about, hold on. What about hold on, one hold million on. firsts? Let me finish. One million firsts. That, that, okay, one million firsts. And you know what they are? They're firsts. And they're all exhausted. And the wonderment of those are exhausted far before. Tell that to the chocolate chip far, cookie I had last night. Far before you stop being a child. And if we were able to continually discover things for the first time as adults, like you do for a child, seeing things we've never seen before, right. you would be in the same state of wonderment. But you can't, and but, you're not. And that's the thing. You you could if you put a lot of effort into it. It's that's not as not, easy as go walking back and down the to street and seeing a said. rock. It's not as easy as seeing a rock. Right, I want that. I want to be... Bug, I want you don't to even be remember a, when you had that. You were three. It goes away. That has it, nothing to do with the application. You can't apply that. No, here. because I'll tell you, you something. Can. There were a few things. Now, there were a few times I was able to have a friend. I, my mom convinced some other kid's mom to let the kid play over. Okay, and the kid would play over after school and he didn't want to come over. I wanted to wrestle and I didn't realize he didn't want to wrestle, but I grew up and get off my ass about it. But the kid I knew was coming over on the bus after school. Okay, now I experienced this once, twice, three, four times. I had experienced it. The feeling I got when I was at school all day and know that this kid has a permission slip to come on my bus to come over was unbelievable. Sure. And now let me tell you something else. Yesterday, I knew I was coming on this podcast. I was getting on my friend's bus. Oh, you're, it's, you're wonderful. That's the wrap up. Take you're us wonderful. to the vote. You're wonderful. Humble you're wonderful. pie. Here we go. I think Childhood might take it. I saw a lot of comments as he was scrolling. Yeah. Uh, and it's not good that he's putting clicking. Uh, we got 7,000 votes. Ooh. Oh, you idiot. But you know, you, but you know, but no, hold on. But there's something interesting about this one that you don't get that often. We didn't really sample the jury properly because the percentage of this that are adults thinking the grass was greener then. Yeah. If if children, that's why I it think could, we need skewed. to get more children Sometimes to follow you on skewed. social. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if children we voted, more, I bet more you they would be like, media. oh, fuck, I have to wait seven years to get my dick roasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. They would be saying the other way. Yeah. 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 Well, the, yeah. the percentage Never breakdown for those of you listening. Porn? Go the, per- on. the percentage <laughs> yeah. breakdown. By the way, when you when you found the VHS that your uncle had and you, and you put it in, you know, that's also mind blowing. Everything's in eleven. Everything. The cookie, the friend, the rock. Everything's I think eleven. This is a lot right of- now, there's ebbs okay. and flows to okay. it. And I- eleven is literally it's I a think, tough one. I think this is a lot of people going. I have a kid and I love my kid and this, I watch this is my adults kid do this. voting. That's what this I is think. adults yeah. voting. Fair. I think it's a lot of parents voting. voting but in, quite that, in that respect, we probably had skewed things. I mean. Look, but okay. it, is it? It's sixty-four for those listening. Childhood had won sixty-four point five percent to thirty-five point five percent. How much of that we can tabulate That's to be chocolate skewed? What's the record? You know, this right. is this is, is something back that, on me? that like the sample are people that are just from one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I, I tell you the truth, though, I didn't know who was going to win Rick. that before I saw that. Rick, pl- pl- do a quick plug before we everything you need, babe. Close yeah, you. listen. Um, uh, uh, what's your show called again? This one? No. Taste buds. The, the one with, with everybody's pranking at each other. Impractical K- Jokers? Yankers. Yes. Impractical Jokers. We're going to be in uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, we, 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 you're going to be in. We're going to be in Nashville, Indianapolis, and St. Louis on the 27th through the 29th of July. Tickets are available at impracticaljokerslive.com. Thank you. Uh, I have a podcast called, called "Take Your Shoes Off." I also have a new podcast with Esther Ravitsky called "Rick and Esther Have a Time." Um. But listen, I feel like if if they enjoyed me coming on here, they know they just they just go into Instagram or whatever you type the also name. Also, come see you do thing. comedy. Yeah, I don't have a tour. Okay, I don't have a tour set up. In fact, I'm starting. I'm touring for the first time. End of summer, setting it up now. Well, there you go. They need to know that. Stuff, but I don't right? have anything set up yet. So, but they know to wait for it. The anticipation. It's like it'll be childlike. Listen, if I if there's really one thing to plug, it would be make yourself as happy as you can while not getting in the way of anybody else. I still love you, babe. Love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.